What's up everybody, I'm Shade, welcome to episode 5 of my Become a Legend. Now I do want to apologize because it's been forever since I've uploaded this, um, and uh, it's just that I've been really busy and I'm still kind of dealing with some stuff, but uh, that's none of your concern. You're here to watch Pez Become a Legend with my player Cole, and you know, I appreciate that. I've been getting comments of people, you know, asking me when will episode 5 be up, and um, that really means a lot to me. You have no idea that you are actually enjoying what I'm putting up. But um, without further ado, let's see what Cole has been up to. So in the last episode, we had finally become indispensable, which means our teammates' uh, cunt level on the ball would will be to a minimum, which also means that um, when we call for the ball, they will always give it to us. So that's a luxury in Pez and uh, and always in FIFA, but let's just not get into that. So I head into my first game, and Cole, you know him, he's gonna get out on his constant shooting streak, and uh, sooner or later something's gonna come up. And I do believe somebody called me, um, um what was it, uh, selfish on the ball? I, I think yeah, kind of like that. I I didn't know if he phrased it like that, but kind of yeah because I I don't pass it a lot but look at that pass and move a nice triangle with me on the target and uh, I get my first goal and we are leading 1-2-0 because of brilliant team play I must say you know I love I love um, actions like that you know kinda not necessarily Barca pass passing because you know they didn't invent passing but uh, yeah so look at that see that's a boss bro you know I'm not just always calling for the ball to shoot I mean I mostly do that I oh yeah I now remember he called me selfish because I shoot from uh, from afar out and, and stuff yeah but then I hit the post how unlucky uh, well I I already got a goal so I guess um that's pretty good and then I make some room in the box and I pass it and I get a nice uh, assist there we are 2 0 up in front, one goal for Cole and one pass from Cole to make the, the second goal happen. And um, that's that that pretty much spells man of the match right there. And uh, that's how it ended, and that's what it was. I got an eight point oh ratio and I was the man of the match. So um yeah, you'll see in a bit I get the uh, the boots and I actually end up you know, wearing those boots because um, it did. You're seeing a single bit. All right, so it did take one attribute point from my top speed, but it did give me a, an extra shooting accuracy one. So you know, I need that. I, I do need to be a better finisher because I, I just, um, I, I shoot a lot, and yeah, I'm, I'm very pacey right now. So I kind of need to work on my shooting. So we get into the second game, and a nice pass and move there. And I think that was deflected, but the keeper got to it uh, nonetheless. Then a run and a shot. Keeper does very well to save it. I did have a few passing options there, but I did end up uh, actually taking the shot. And then, oh, I didn't expect to get that to get to that. And the commentator also congratulated me for uh, for getting to it, so um, I didn't end up doing anything. But then a nice ball there. But I don't know, he, my my team is, didn't have the pace nor the actual power to put behind behind the shot. But oh, look at that, I didn't have anything to do with that and normally I wouldn't put it in but it was a goal and it was a nice diving header at that, you know, I'll give you that bro. But I'm usually the one that actually want to either score or, you know, pass it for the goal but... Uh, that in that case it was neither and look at that perfect example of my selfishness I had like two or three passing options there but I decided to actually take the shot you know whatever so there I am one on one with the goalkeeper and that is how you should finish you know take a note teammates take a note at that brilliant one on one finishing because you know I've said this before Cole's got the flare going and that was a nice chip yeah but uh, you know to my surprise, a few minutes later, guess what happened? I get substituted. I'm like, wait, may I, maybe I'm not playing like shit because I don't feel like I'm playing like shit. So maybe he's just trying to, you know, rest me because uh, maybe I'm getting tired because I did run a lot of this stuff. So that that's how the match ended. And not only was I not the man of the match, I got a 6.5 ratio. And I, as you will see in a little bit, yeah, I am like on third place on the manager pick. And uh, he also benched me for the next game. I'm like, what? 
I, I didn't know I, I was performing like shit. I, I scored a goal and uh, yeah, but yeah, a few of I mean most of my stats went up there, so that's what that is. So of course I'm benched for the game and they get a nice, nice volley up and uh, I know it's moving crazy fast because it's on X2, but I did leave the replay on so you can see it in normal speed. Look at that deflection! Bam! Nice, nice volley there. I wish it would have been my goal. I, I, I won't lie. Yeah. But uh, second half starts and I start the game finally. They bring me in because they know I'm fired up and I want to prove myself. So I get a nice through ball there and I like, go, bro. Finish that, bro. But he back heals it to me, so I, I didn't know what to do there because I wasn't expecting it back. But I did create a nice opportunity. But I hit the post. How unlucky! I make some nice space there again, and I go and I take the shot, and boom! Talk about a super sub, I just made it 2 to nil. So yeah, that did end up going in, and uh, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really like the curve on that ball. And um, as far as the, the manager goes, you know, I mean, maybe he wanted to test me, you know, and I think I've very much proved myself with that. But uh, guess what happens a little bit later? They get a cross in, and our player heads it in our own net. <laughs> I left the replay in, so we kind of get what's going on there, you know. Let me see. So he crosses it, and he's like, I'll save you! Eh. And he puts it in, yeah. So that's when the manager realized, you know, Cole actually saved us, because that idiot put it in his own net, so it would have been 1-1, one to one, but now, with my goal, we actually won. So, um, you know... Maybe that was a test, I don't know, but I did prove myself, and I'm back at the top, and I even got a little title there. I don't know, that doesn't really help me a lot, but whatever. So, a few of my stats uh, grew there as well. And, um, something else happens. Yeah, I do get my paycheck, and my, and my contract is like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shit, you can, you can kind of do, do better, you know, with the money that you have now. So, I end up doing that, I get the, I get the... Nice black guy from Cameron. He looks like he knows what what he's talking about. I also look at the um, the awards thingy, whatever. Uh, of course, Messi would be first place, and then Ronaldo, and then Iniesta. But whatever, who cares about that? So um, I do hope you enjoyed this comeback of of my become a legend. I guess you would call it. Before I end the episode, I do want to take another opportunity to thank all of you who have been requesting I bring this back and who are still watching and enjoying this. You, you have no idea how you know how awesome that feels for me as uh, as I'm making it and uh, yeah you know thank you for watching I'm Shade if you enjoy do leave a rating I almost forgot to say that if you enjoy do leave a like if you can't be bothered don't but I've been Shade though thank you for watching goodbye.